Hello everyone, my name is Patrick Frawley and I'm your product specialist for tractors. Today you join us here at our Class UK headquarters in Saxon and in this video we are going to have a look at some of our dynamic steering settings that we can make on our CIS Plus machines. So you now join me up in the cab of our CIS Plus machine looking at the different settings and functionality of our dynamic steering. Firstly, what is dynamic steering? Well simply it is a quick steer function. So with up to seven different settings, we can change how fast or how slow our steering wheel acts and links to the speed of our turning left or turning right. So what settings can we adjust? Well, if we come into our menu cluster, we can see that with our dynamic steering, we get an additional steering wheel with a plus icon down the bottom. This is obviously our dynamic steering menu. So by diving in there, we can find our seven different speeds. So seven different speeds are actually divided into three different types. Now, what do I mean by types? Well, firstly, we can see the simplest and easiest one to understand. So we have our constant mode here, annotated by the steering wheel and the plus icon. What would happen in this case? Well, in this example, we have constant mode times 1.2. So no matter how fast or how slow the tractor is driving, or the position of the front axle, it will always be multiplied by 1.2 times faster. We could then change that mode to a forward speed, annotated by this symbol here. And what this means for us is, the slower the tractor is driving, the faster the steering wheel will react. And the faster we get to the cutoff speed, the slower the reaction gets. So improving the behavior there for maybe a higher speed application. And the last type we can see then is annotated here where we can see the front axle symbol underneath the steering wheel. And what this means is it's more of a progressive type of dynamic steering. Essentially, the closer we get to full lock left or full lock right, the faster that steering wheel reacts, okay? So again, maybe for more narrower and tighter yard work type duties, maybe this is where this type might come in. And within each one of those types, then we can see that we can speed that up or slow that down, for example. So for example, we see times 1.5 here, or times 2.5. And again, that is the same for the progressive one for the forward speed or the constant type as well. So how do we turn our dynamic steering on? Well, very simply, first, all we have to do is make sure that our steering valve is unlocked with the unlock switch on our steering. Same as what we would do for any GPS functionality. And secondly, once we then have our speed selected within the screen, all we would use is our special rocker switch with the plus symbol on it that would then engage our steering. If we were to then hit the point at which our dynamic steering automatically cuts out at because we've gone over the set speed value, Again, same thing to turn it back on. Once we slow back down, just hit the switch again. So, thank you for watching everyone. I hope it helped. Feel free to watch some of the other videos in relation to your own specific machine. And if you have any further questions, don't hesitate to contact your local dealer.